WHO d does not have a position on, on this approach. Uh, I think what we do have uh, is advice for countries to be very prudent at this point. Uh, number one, we need to be sure that uh, what tests would be used to establish uh, the, the status of an individual. And there's uh, lots of uncertainty around what, so what such a test would be and how effective and how performant that test would need to be. Um, and secondly, a lot of the preliminary information that's coming to us right now would suggest that quite a low proportion of the population uh, have actually seroconverted. So it may not solve the problem. Uh, there's been an expectation maybe that herd immunity may have been achieved and that the majority of people in society may already have developed antibodies. Uh, I think the, the general evidence is pointing against that and pointing towards a much lower zero prevalence, so it may not solve the problem that governments are trying to solve. And then thirdly, there are serious ethical issues around the use of, of such an approach, and we need to address it very carefully. Uh, we also need to look at the length of protection that antibodies might give. We're not, nobody is sure whether someone with antibodies is fully protected against having the disease or being exposed again. Plus, some of the tests uh, have issues of sensitivity. They may give a false negative result, and we may actually have someone who believes they're zero positive and protected actually in a situation where they may be exposed, and in fact, they are susceptible to the disease. Now, it's not that these tests cannot be used, but there's a lot of work to do to standardize those tests, to ensure that they're validated, to ensure that they're used as part of a coherent policy and that there's a very clear public health objective to their use and that they are not misused uh, in any way. So uh, we will look at what Chile is, is doing or proposing to do. Uh, we will look at what all countries are proposing to do and we will offer the best advice we can based on science and ethics to them. Maria? To supplement, yes, there's, this is an ongoing um, uh, issue and we will be issuing some guidance over the weekend on this um, because there are a lot of countries that are suggesting to use uh, rapid diagnostic, rapid serologic tests to to be able to capture what they think will be a measure of immunity. And as Mike has said, right now we have no evidence that the use of a serologic test um, can show that an individual is immune or is protected from reinfection. What the use of these tests will do will measure the level of antibodies, and it's a, it's a response that the body has a week or two later after they've been infected with this virus. Um, and these antibody tests will be able to measure that level of seroprevalence, that level of antibodies. But that does not mean that somebody with antibodies means that they're immune. Um, and so we will be issuing some guidance around this because it is a confusing area. There's a lot of tests right now that have flooded the market, and that's, and that's a good thing. It's a good thing that these things are being developed and that they are available, but we need to ensure that they are validated um, and so that we know what they say that they attempt to measure, they are actually measuring. So we hope to put some guidance out over the weekend, and that guidance will be updated as more information becomes available.